Right, I'm going to show you, since I've uh, upgraded me MacBook Air Pro mid-2013, I put new memory in it. I put from 8 to 16, so it gives me 16 megabytes of memory. And now what I've done is I've put the MX500 SSD drive in it. Now compared to last time and now this, let's just see how long it takes. Now that is a lot quicker. All I've, all I've done is I've uh, up, up, uh, upgraded the air drive from the air drive what was inside it to an MX500 one terabyte air drive and that is a lot quicker now, a hell of a lot quicker. I'm gonna put my password in and then I'm gonna show you how quick it is from that bit to the main screen. That's super quick, so I'm well chuffed with that. So yeah, that's all I've done. I've put the MX500 and it, I'll show you a link. So you've got the Catalina pre-installed on the on the iDrive. All you gotta do is like this, if you're starting off fresh, put your own details in, um, and you're working from there as if it's a new system. So I'll put a link where I got it from in the comments below, in the description below, I should say. And uh, hopefully, um, I'm happy with it. The only thing I don't like about uh, MacBooks, you're not getting the uh, the apps now. I mean, I've got I'm using Luma Fusion. You can't use Luma Fusion on the uh, MacBooks anyway. But that's the only problem I've got. I'd, I'd rather. I wish there was some sort of thing where you could use Luma Fusion in on the MacBook. But yeah, I'm quite happy with it. Really, really happy with it. So, so anyway, thanks for watching. Please give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you all soon on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.